theoretical question, which is considered to be the most central problem in theoretical computer science, or at least computational complexity theory, combinatorial algorithm theory. The question is whether P is equal to NP. If P were equal to NP, it would be amazing. It would mean that um, every problem where a solution can be rapidly checked can actually be solved in polynomial time. We don't really believe that's true. If you're scheduling classes at a school, it's uh, we expect that if somebody hands you a satisfying schedule, you can verify that it works. That doesn't mean that you should be able to find such a schedule. So intuitively, NP encompasses a lot more problems than P. So can uh, we take a small tangent and break apart that intuition? So do you, first of all, think that the biggest sort of open problem in computer science, maybe mathematics, is whether P equals NP? Do you think P equals NP, or do you think P is not equal to NP? If you had to uh, bet all your money on it. <laughs> I, I would bet that P is unequal to NP, uh, simply because there are problems that have been around for centuries and have been studied intensively in mathematics, and even more so in the last 50 years since the P versus NP was stated, and uh, no polynomial time algorithms have been found for these easy-to-check problems. So one, one example is a problem that goes back to the mathematician Gauss, who was interested in um, factoring large numbers. So uh, we know what a, a number is prime if it, doesn't if it cannot be written as the product of two or more numbers unequal to one. Uh, so if we can factor the, uh, a number like 91, it's 7 times 13. Um, but uh, if I give you 20-digit or 30-digit numbers, you're probably going to be at a loss to have any idea whether they can be factored. Um, so the, pr the problem of factoring very large numbers uh, is... Um, does not appear to have an efficient solution. But once you have found the factors, uh, uh, expressed the number as a product of two smaller numbers, you can quickly verify that they are factors of the number. And your intuition is a lot of people finding, you know, this. a lot of brilliant people have tried to find algorithms. For this one particular problem, there's many others like it that are really well studied and it would be great to find an efficient algorithm for. Right. And in fact, um, we have uh, some results that I was instrumental in obtaining following up on work by the mathematician Stephen Cook um, to show that uh, within the class NP of easy-to-check problems, there's a huge number that are equivalent in the sense that either all of them or none of them lie in P. And this happens only if P is equal to NP. So if P is unequal to NP, uh, we would also know that uh, uh, virtually all the standard combinatorial problems, if, if P is unequal to NP, none of them can be solved in polynomial time. 